I'll let you explain the uh, the Scarlett O'Hara reference, but your larger point is that you're not spending your days worrying about the level of at least public debt right now. Correct. Public debt, indeed. The U, and that's the, the Scarlett O'Hara reference is to her famous statement, I won't worry about the, that today, I'll worry about it tomorrow. Both parts are important, actually. It is not something to worry about today. We have a lot of relief spending. It's, it, you know, it's sometimes called stimulus, but it's really relief. People are in terrible uh, distress. It's come somewhat analogous to like a giant hurricane hit the whole economy. That never happens, of course, but a pandemic does. So it's relief spending, and we need it badly. People are suffering all over the place in a variety of ways. The tomorrow part is this is adding enormously to the national debt. Uh, and at some point, I guess the right way to put this is that bears watching. There are no warning signs yet, none, that we're pushing the limit of the United States government to borrow on world market, none at all. But we should keep watching and make sure there aren't, because that's really going to be if it happens, that'll be the constraint. Right. You do say uh, no such yellow lights are flashing. The markets will warn us with higher interest rates and a sagging dollar. But where is the line at which we can declare a warning declared? Uh, uh, well, there's no magic number. But I would say as soon as we start seeing Treasury borrowing rates inch up, and, you know, it's not going to they're not going to go up by 100 basis points in a day or anything like that. But if they start moving up and if the dollar starts moving down, I don't mean for a day or two, the dollar is always going up and down. But over a protracted period of time, those will be warning. Those will be warning signs. There's not a magic number. But we'll, you know what the old saying is, you'll know it when you see it. I think we will. Mm -hmm. Alan, it's Sarah. What does that mean as far as what tomorrow looks like, austerity in this country, higher taxes, and how soon do you think we're going to be facing those realities? Not that soon, but maybe starting in 2021. Um, I think it's less austerity. We'll see. I, but I think it's less austerity than it is, kind of, let's call it adult behavior. I draw the analogy in that op-ed that you referred to uh, between now, what, what will happen and what happened after World War II. We finished up World War II with a debt to GDP ratio, depending on exactly how you measure it or from what year, something like 103, 105% of GDP. So that was in 1945, six. By 1974, five, that number was down to 22%. Um, of GDP. So, and how do we do that? Not so much with austerity, certainly not by running budget deficits, budget surpluses, sorry, budget surpluses year after year, but keeping the deficit modest so that the national debt, while growing year after year, was growing slower than the economy. So the debt to GDP ratio went all the way down from, say, 103 to about 22. That's a lot. And, and that's how we did it, basically. Right. But a lot of what you're discussing, uh, Alan, would involve rates staying low. And to your point, I mean, psychology can change quickly when it comes to the view of, of, a, of a country's indebtedness, even as it may be hard to imagine the U.S. I mean, if our political dysfunction and our ability, inability to have sort of a functioning discourse amongst our parties continues, you could imagine a day in which people say, wait a second, I don't know anymore about this country's ability to repay in the way that I thought of. And yeah. higher rates with our refinancing needs, that would be disastrous, wouldn't it? It would. It would. Um, you can You use the word, I think, imagine. Yes, you can imagine it, unfortunately, with the way our politics are today. You may recall, I think it was in 2011, that for a purely political reason, battle between the congressional Republicans and President Obama, we got a downgrade from s and It wasn't, there was never any question, could the United States pay the interest on its debt? That was never. 
remotely close to in question. But there was a question at that time whether politically the Republicans were going to deliberately cause a default on the debt. I never thought it was likely. Most people didn't think it was likely. But something like that could happen again. You, unfortunately, sadly, we could imagine it happening.